Christmas is a big deal for my family. And every year, I have this problem they all have to solve. Because I'm always the single one. I think you should come home with me. We can pretend we fell in love after all these years. <laughs> It'll be so easy. My family already asked why we're not just together. All right. It's it's terrific to have a mainstream LGBTQ plus film out. Last year, it was your Schitt's Creek castmate, Dan Levy, in Happiest Season. This year, it's your turn yes. with Single All the Way. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Single All the Way was supposed to be earlier, but there was this pandemic that we had. So that kind of got bumped. I think it bumped our timeline on when we could shoot it, but um, I'm so excited to be a part of it. It's such a fun, heartwarming, sweet Christmas movie, and I hope everybody sits with their family and enjoys. Well, Slay Queen Carol? You have to call her Christmas Carol. How did I not know your mom had a holiday specific drag name? You get a pair, and you get a pair, who am I? Oprah. Oprah. You know, yes, uh, um, and it's like the traditional family, um, Christmas holiday vacation, but it has this added frisson, which is the um, the gay aspect, which is so perfect. And I think, you know, global streaming services like Netflix with films like this, they really help foster change. What do you think? I completely agree. And I, and I feel like the more diversity we have, the more love we see on the screen and all the ways that love exists, I think, um, I think it can affect change in people and I think it can normalize it for people who maybe grew up in environments where that was not normalized. It's just a family who loves their son and he's single and they want to see him find someone for the holidays. And it's yeah, yeah. Um, a crazy, which, which is, family. Which is a, yeah. And it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Your family really wants you to have a relationship. Yes, I know. That's very clear. So my early Christmas present for you is a blind date. I love it. He loves it. You're going. You're going. Where are you going? <laughs> he's going on a blind date. Like from Grindr? Oh my God. <gasps> Every character has his or her arc and triumphs and, and stepping out of the comfort zone. Tell me about your character's journey. Lisa is um, a little bit of an intense sister, one might say. She deeply <laughs> loves her brother. I think they're very close. Um, she would love him to be closer. And, you know, so it's kind of dialed up, as the holidays can be for lots of people, right? Because he lives in L.A. and he's back in town and... So she's a little bit more dialed up, I think, because of that. And um, she'd just really like him to um, find love. I uh, was thinking we could grab a cup of coffee. You probably thought you were going on a date with the hottest, smartest, funniest, coolest, most interesting person who was ever born. <laughs> Maybe I am. I was happy to see Alexandra Beaton, who I've known since I was a little girl. She was a little girl. <laughs> And um, here she is. She, her mother, Kate Wheeler, founded this show. What she said. So we have a we have Yay! a connection. To it. Oh, that's so fun! <laughs> oh yeah, she was marvelous. They were marvelous. The two ladies, and they are ladies. They're not girls who played my yeah. my daughter. Yeah. They were both wonderful, and I missed so many of the scenes that they were in with Michael and Philemon. So I was so excited to watch the movie. I was like, oh, this is everything I missed that was going on behind the scenes. They were both fantastic. I cried watching the movie and I cried <laughs> the whole script and I was part of the thing. And so it shows you, it's all part of the process. And, and even though you read the words until you see those actors and you see them performing them, um, that's when it really tugs at your heartstrings. I always thought that you and Peter should be together. Mama's best friend. Well, my wife is my best friend in the whole world. You're Michael drunk. Yuri, too. He's, I interviewed him years ago. He's a lovely person. He's yeah. perfect for this. He's so charming and warm. He, um, is, and he grounded, I think, the whole cast because he is such a warm, loving person. And then as an actor, playing that character was so perfect and... I mean, he's still funny and, and can be very sarcastic, but he's such a kind, grounded person. He was the perfect choice for yes. this character. Absolutely. The, the girls are in my bed. Of course they are. I can't uh, leave you without saying that Shit's Creek must have changed your life fundamentally and forever. And tell me, like, you know, a year out, what's it like? It absolutely, oh, it's, I, it's absolutely changed my life. I think many, most of the people on the show forever in such a positive way. I still 
have so many encounters on a regular basis of people who say, I watched this through the pandemic. It got me through, it made me feel hopeful. Um, so, so to be part of something that was so meaningful to people is really, yeah. is really lovely. You have feelings for him. If Nick and I ever went there and it didn't work out, I would lose him. But what if it did work out? And again, uh, about acceptance, LBGTQ plus acceptance. Yeah. You know, the world's changing. The world is really changing fast. And you as an actor are helping it, are pushing it forward. People with the story, these stories. I feel like I'm lucky enough to be a part of those stories. Yes. And yes. Um, mo many of my nearest and dearest are part of that community. And so I absolutely want to be a part of um, the positive change. The gays just know how to do stuff. For some reason, they're always obsessed with me. You're